we started our journey in central Canada in Montreal, Quebec, going all the way down through New Brunswick. And oh man, it was a journey. We spent two days in the Moncton area and it was pretty nice, but we had to hit the road pretty quickly because the drive down to Laurie Provincial Park was about seven hours. But we did make a few stops, including Hopewell Rocks Provincial Park and a bunch of gas stations for obvious reasons. just woke up and it was kind of a slow morning because we're pretty slammed from hitting the road for two days. Alki is pretty tired still and we're kind of like taking it super slow. I'm still drinking my coffee and sitting on the rocks. I'm going to show you the campsite is behind me. Right here you can see our setup here and then the path leads to this beautiful rocky lakefront which is pretty surreal it's so nice there's literally no one around us we're kind of lucky We spent two full days exploring Halifax and I recently made a video about it. If you want to see more, I highly recommend you go see that video because I shared so many dog friendly spots. If you missed it, I will link it down in the description box. Despite the rain, we hit the road again and are so determined to go explore the south shore of Nova Scotia. As you may know by now, Alki is not a morning dog. He'd rather snooze and lose, but we're not doing that today. arrived around 8-ish and that was the best decision to wake up super early and drive all the way down here just to have first place to this beauty right here that's Peggy buses are wheeling in now the place is slowly getting more and more packed Alki is doing so good He's just chilling, but today I can tell he's pretty tired. We've had a full day of exploring yesterday at Halifax. We thought it'd be better today, but it started again pouring rain and there was thunder last night and the tent started getting wet from the condensation and kind of like from under. Alki, what are you seeing? Hey boy, where's daddy? We took some time to visit the surrounding area around Peggy's Cove and despite the fog, we thought the community there was so lovely and, and the whole place is so cute. There are different kind of shops, mostly geared towards tourists, but it is worth it. Most stores featured locally crafted souvenirs as well as art. It was already later in the morning and we headed to Lunenburg, which is about an hour from Peggy's Cove and we got to see the Blue Nose, which is the boat featured on the Canadian Tencents. Yep, the original one. 
Whenever we go to a new place, we take our time because Aoki, as you know, is a bit of an introvert and he needs a bit more time to get acclimated and warmed to a new place. So we just stroll around, explore and let him sniff and see whatever he hearts desires. We were such in a mood for fresh seafood because Lunenburg is a port, but unfortunately most of the places were not dog friendly, so we had to leave Aoki in the car, of course windows down, with water and a few snacks. It was a typical Nova Scotian day, meaning not sunny and a bit chilly, thankfully, so Aoki was perfectly fine and I think it turned out really well because he was tired of our explorings. It's only when I opened the door that he realized I was back. And just like that, it was time for him to eat. He didn't have breakfast earlier because he usually eats a bit later in the morning. Right now he's eating his regular famuso patties and I usually bring a cooler with me so that we have his food ready to serve. It was time to leave Halifax area and embark on part two of this road trip. We drove up towards Cape Breton Island, which is situated in the northeast of Nova Scotia. But I have a feeling that Aoki is a bit over this road trip. Nevertheless, I'm so pumped up because part two is supposed to be the most scenic and naturey out of the whole trip. Unfortunately, this day is one of the only two sunny days we have, but let's make it count, shall we? We stop by Inverness Beach, which is one of the most beautiful beaches I've been in North America. Inverness Beach is known for its beautiful and soft sand, and it is so nice to take a walk because it stretches for 1.5 kilometers from one end to the other. We spent a couple of hours there just sunbathing, swimming, and playing with Aoki.
similar to our trip in Gaspésie, we decided to camp in a Parks Canada location because we really enjoyed our experience the first time around. Our campsite was the second one located from the west entry of the park. We chose this one as it is close to a village called Shetty Camp and you get a lot of different businesses and services including an animal hospital, you know, just in case. If you are into hiking, I highly recommend you choosing this campground because it is very close to the most popular ones and this makes a real difference when you have to wake up super early. It is yet another cloudy day in Cape Breton. Uh, we are driving up to the tip of the island up north and it's kind of like the road has been We are on our way to hike up a mountain called, well it's not actually called Meat Cove. I believe that the village down the mountain is called Meat Cove, which is a pretty funny name. The only problem is that it is so foggy, we can't really see anything and the point of going up is to have the view. The forecast was pretty good for late AM. It is currently 11 and it is pretty still rainy, drizzly and so foggy. I don't know if we'll see anything. It takes about an hour and a half to hike up the mountain. The second problem we have right now is that Aoki has been so tired for the past two days or so. I think his stamina has really dropped. I mean, we've been on the road for a week now and I can sense his pretty tired from being on the road. But the good thing is that the drive itself from our campsite in Cap Rouge up to Miko is about an hour and a half so I mean he can have his lazy time in the back <laughs> The fog did not want to go away. The trail was not opened in the season yet. So all the bushes, everything was blocking the way to the top. So we had to go back down, which was a total fail. I think it's not an official trail because there's no signs whatever when you make your way up. So we kind of had to change our plans and went for a walk on the beach instead and grab lunch, which was not too bad because we were all pretty tired and this gave us the chance to really enjoy the area itself. Thank you. 
That's a solid 20 over 10. Mm -mm -mm. Look at those chunks. Gonna fall. Not gonna, gonna fall. fall. <gasps> First trade this morning was a bit of a fail, but the second one we hope will work out because it is the main event of the trip. We've been waiting for that moment ever since we left Montreal. This trail is iconic to, I think, Canada in general. It's one of the most beautiful ones. So if you are from Canada or if you're visiting, this is the place to be. It started a bit rocky because I thought that dogs would be allowed in, I mean on the trail. But we had to leave Aoki behind. And the trail itself is not too long, it's about two hours back and forth. But I would have wanted him to be part of the experience because it's like the main event, right? That being said, I think he's... I'm out of breath. <laughs> I don't think he's too upset about it because as I mentioned, he's pretty tired of the whole trip. So a moment solo on his own, I think it'll do him good. But still, I'm a bit bummed out. Okay, so enough with the teasing. We are walking down the Skyline train in Cape Breton Highlands National Park. It is pretty chilly. I think it's about 12 degrees Celsius, which is not ideal, but I'm super excited. I hope the view is going to be good and my expectations are super high. So we'll see. The Skyline Trail was one of the most beautiful trails I've done in my entire life. The walk itself is about two hours if you go back and forth and if you choose to do the full loop it's about three hours. We opted for the shorter version because we were pretty tired and Alki was alone in the car. We legit spent about 40 minutes up top enjoying the 360 view of the valley, the mountain, and of course the ocean. I find that the best time is to go at sunset because the view is just breathtaking. We came back on our tippy toes because we wanted to see how Aoki was doing and let me tell you this boy was fast asleep. I think he really enjoys his me time especially when we're on the road like that so I'm so happy he got to do that. <laughs> On our second and last sunny day of this trip, we drove to the other side of the island, still driving down the Cape Cabot Trail. On our way, we stopped to a couple of beaches, which I'm sure are pretty nice in the middle of summer, but we went in June and it was pretty windy, so we couldn't really enjoy the moment to its fullest, but we did enjoy more seafood on the road. We were so lucky to find this restaurant with a dog-friendly patio. I'm always so happy when we managed to bring Aoki with us because it's so nice to have this experience all three together. Plus it helps him stay socialized and get used to be in a new environment. I had a seafood chowder for my entree and for the main course, we had fish and chips and a classic burger.
On our way back to the campground, we stopped by Salty Rose's Prewinkle Cafe, where they serve fresh baked goodies, coffee, tea, and they also have a boutique section with lots of souvenirs, handcrafted objects, as well as art. There's a small version. Yeah, there. I find that the Cape Cabo Trail has different cute spots where you can enjoy coffee or local foods and also learn about the history of Cape Breton, its communities and unique Celtic and Acadian culture. Even though we couldn't sit inside, the staff was super friendly. The owner even gifted Alki a milk bone which he was super shy to take from her hands and he even waited for her to leave to eat it. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cup my tea can take what I need to get by. We ended the day on the Pebble Beach at our campground because we knew it was one of those rare days with the sun out. So we took the opportunity to soak up the sun, enjoy the sea breeze, and again play with Aoki. Wait, hold on, put me together. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone Wait, hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone The next day, it was already time to pack our bags and head home. I wasn't excited about the seven hour drive that was waiting for us, but let's say there was something ultra comfortable at the end of the road. Good job. Good job. I'll do a quick tour because we picked this hotel as the except doggos. So I just want to show you the space. It's a regular hotel, regular room, but I'm so excited that Aoki can stay in with us and we picked a hotel to go on the way back home because it's just one night and we wanted the comfort of a hotel room especially after 11 days camping it kind of like softens the blow basically your vacation is over and you're going back home but here's the hotel room two I believe it's queen size beds and we got the sixth floor and the view is pretty basic, but at least we don't have a building in front of us. It's our first time here in Fredericton. I think Aoki's pretty excited too. Aoki, you wanna go explore? Let's go, let's go, let's go explore. Come on, come on, come on.
we ended the day by exploring the city walk around which was super fun to do because it was july 1st and for all non-canadians listening july 1st is canada day so the whole country is celebrating and in fredericton it was no different there were a variety of events happening all across the city including a concert and a free outdoor play after sitting in the car for about eight hours we were so ready to clock our steps in and we had a feeling alki was really excited to explore a new place we walked around fredericton to explore the downtown area and the waterfront to end the night with food and drinks Although our time in Fredericton was very short, it was a nice way to celebrate the end of our road trip. And that is it guys, this brings us to the end of this video. If you're still here, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more sheep adventures. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you all on the next one.